the war has finally started. And uh, I did not expect <laughs> there to be uh, this to happen. We now have to fight dragons, which is, you know, fun. Everyone loves dragons. <laughs> especially, uh, especially the creator. Uh, he's got dragons here, he's got dragon slayers in Fairytale, and he's also got the dragon race in uh, Rave Master. By the way, read Rave Master, if you haven't. It's fantastic. Okay, so, the chapter starts out with uh, Xiao Ming, our narrator, with a very serious tone. Now, obviously, that seriousness gets revealed why later on, but she usually she's very bubbly in her announcements and her, uh, her way of doing things, because that's just who her character is, especially when it comes to really buff men. But, <laughs> but all of a sudden, she... Uh, this is just a very deep, calm tone that she has right now, where she basically announced, the battle is about to commence, who will win? And knowing this series, there's a huge possibility that Ziggy could beat uh, Shiki. In fact, I'm almost positive Ziggy is going to win, and there's a high probability that other, more horrific things are going to happen, like... Uh, I can't remember, uh, imagine any more members of the Eden Zero are going to die, though, but we'll get to that when we get to that. So Captain Connor gives everyone a, a battle speech right before, saying that this is their, uh, their chance to save everyone. <laughs> everyone is always prepared to, uh, to do what they need to do, and uh, Elsie also <laughs> starts laughing about the fact that she, she's a pirate who's going to be saving people. Her crew then says, well, maybe we should just rob the planet afterwards, after the battle. Like, and you're like... There is nothing of value there. It's a planet of androids. Nothing humans would want is there. Elsie's main and only target seems to be Ziggy. Her entire plan is to just to go after him. This is concerning, which means... Uh, Elsie might die. She might be the sacrifice that ends up happening. Like, for this, uh, for this battle. But, uh... I, I don't know why, I just have a feeling that she's the one who's going to die here. I, I, I can't explain it, it's just a feeling. Usually I have theories, uh, and I can give you some evidence to prove it, but I don't know. It's just, it, I have no evidence, I have no proof, I don't even have anything way of explaining it. I just feel like this is where she's going to die. So we get reintroduced to her crew, and we also get introduced to uh, Holy's crew. Her fleet is called the Midnight, and uh, apparently uh, they look like stingrays. <laughs> As for her uh, her crew, we meet two of her officers. One is called Shiro, she looks like a teddy bear. And the other is uh, Ibiki, and she's dressed in a very Middle Eastern garb. So yeah, they basically plot to, to betray uh, the Eden Zero and uh, Elsie, obviously. But uh, it's nothing surprising. I still believe that... After she betrays them, she's then going to... Something's going to happen with Shiki, and she's going to reverse her portrayal. I 100% still think it's going to happen. So the crew commences their invasion, and using their ether gear, they're able to basically destroy the drones protecting the planet, which was simpler and easier than I thought it would be. But then, of course, dragons! A ton of fucking dragons show up. So it was stated early on that they take on an army of dragons, which are apparently the most powerful mechanized creatures in the entire uh, galaxy. The the Eden Zero needs to use their ether on, which means we're probably going to get to see that soon. But it was also stated that you need the four holy stars to be able to activate it, and they're kind of missing one. So I don't know how that's going to work. But this also means that a that a second member of the Orochon Seis Galactica is also part of the alliance with Ziggy, uh, God Acnologia, which obviously is a reference to Acnologia, but a woman version, which means we are now introduced to almost all of the uh, members of the Galactica, Bishop St. Fire Knox, which I'm assuming is probably the Xerath of their world. Well, I suppose Ziggy would be the Xerath of their world. Yeah. But... <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. This guy is basically. His name is Knox, which is basically the, and he's a saint wizard. So he's basically the dark wizard of their world, is what I'm saying. Now, if he's a machine, he's probably also aligned with uh, Ziggy. But if he's not a machine, then we're probably going to see him in a different arc. But uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he also shows up <laughs> the way that the 
the, the all of these uh, major players are apparently just showing up in this arc. Now she's referred to the mother of dragons because she's the one who built all the dragons, and that's basically what she does. She just spends her time building these dragons. My question is, did she also do something to her own body to make herself stronger than the dragons, or is or is her combat completely like a tamer base where she fights with the dragons only, commanding them? That would be something that I would like to know. Like does she like basically kind of like how uh, Weiss is able to fight with his mecha ability. He basically creates weapons instead of uh, fighting directly himself with his bare fists. So, since... Okay, so I figured last week, that be, or for a few weeks, that because Dead and Crow is here, obviously Ziggy wouldn't be the one going down this arc. It would instead, Ziggy would go on to the next uh, round, which would make the most sense. But now that we have two members of the last three members of the Ocean Seis Galactica are here, and both of them are most likely to go down this arc. Maybe Ziggy will go down this arc. This is that's the thing. But once again, that still leaves Nox out there, the final member. So it's really hard for me to tell who is. Will Ziggy go on, or will this just be his end? Because once again, it's not just one big bad going down; it's two. So why not have three? Hmm. Guess we'll see. Well, those are all my thoughts. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like, please subscribe, give a thumbs up so you can have more In Zero and other anime things. Thank you and have a great day.